Another block that you might find to be super helpful depending what you're doing. Um, so you're extracting lots of the teeth here in the maxilla and you don't want to do a whole bunch of infiltrations. You could do the PSA like we just talked about here a little bit ago. Um, or you could do a maxillary V2 block, which again is another underutilized injection. It's essentially a PSA block, only the needle penetration is a bit deeper. So you're basically all the same principles. So have the patient open a little bit, have them shift over this way with the lower jaw, and you can see again how nicely that opens up back there. Put the mirror in, kind of back behind. You can palpate again with a cotton swab, feel for the zygoma, slide back until you kind of sink down. That again is close to your entry point. So that's kind of where you want to be. Now again, this patient's really good for access. Sometimes people are going to be a little trickier to get back in there depending on their anatomy. So what we'll be doing again is we'll be going on our 45. So 45 inward, upward, and backward. And we're going to be inserting to a depth of about anywhere say 28 to 30 millimeters. So it kind of again depends on the patient. And what you're aiming for is that pterygopalatine fossa. So you want to get up into that region. Now, when you're injecting, again, as we talked about in the, the video on this, the tabletop demo, if you're hitting bone uh, prematurely and you're not at the depth, you likely want to reorient your needle. So you're going to have to withdraw again. Don't, don't reorient while you're in the tissues. Make sure you withdraw and then reorient yourself. And typically, you might even want to go a little bit more medially to see if you can um, get up to the, uh, to the depth that you need. So we'll demonstrate here right away um, how to do this block. Again, for some of you, you know, may not be super applicable, but again, um, if you do need great anesthesia all through here, it's a good block to uh, consider. So just as we did with the PSA block, one of the most important things to do for access is again to bend the needle. So you want to bend the needle over just like we're doing here um, to get again a little bit better angle at this area without angling the barrel so much, right? Because you want to be, again, on your 45, 45, 45. Now, you don't want to do it right over the patient's face like I just did, so make sure you do that somewhere privately before you go to um, inject. So what we'll do here, we'll again have the patient kind of shift over our way, um, just at the lower jaw, and again, you can see nicely things are opening up there. Again, we want to retract the cheeks so that we have good visibility in there. Um, and then we're going to insert, again, just kind of the height of the vestibule in posteriorly, and we're going to be going, again, 45, 45, 45, back in here. So again, there might be times where you're going to contact bone a little bit too soon. Maybe like here, so we're going to withdraw, and we're actually going to come out a little bit more a little greater depth <clears throat> and this is right about where we want to be so we're going to start to deposit some anesthetic and we'll make sure that we aspirate because again this is a highly vascular area this is actually one of the injections that's most likely to produce a hematoma um, so you do have to be aware of that and if that happens you want to apply good pressure up in the vestibule back there good sustained pressure Great, and that's all there is to it.